Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial that will provide an overview of Bar Chart's new interactive charts. During this video, I will demonstrate how to use the grid chart and multi chart mode available on the new charts for our Bar Chart Plus and Bar Chart Premier members. Grids work in a completely different manner, but you'll find them much more flexible than those on the old charts. As I walk you through how to use the new grids, I will be pointing out the new features we've added along the way. First, let's talk about terminology you will hear me use. A grid chart is one where you show the same symbol in each frame on the screen. Grid charts are great to perform a multi-time frame analysis for the same symbol. Multi-charts is where you load different symbols into each frame on the screen. Multi-charts are typically found in flip charts, where you want to view the same chart setup for the different symbols found on the page that you are viewing. So let's take a look at the new chart page. First, I'm going to walk you through grid charts. The icon to open grids is here. We've added more grid configurations up to six grids per page. Another new feature is the addition of sync settings. You'll see here that the symbol sync is checked. That means that the same symbol will be loaded into every frame or grid that I open. When I change the symbol, it changes it in every frame. I'm going to demonstrate using a two by two grid. Notice that Tesla is loaded into all frames. My symbol sync is on. I want you to also look at the blue outline on the frame in the upper left. This is considered my active chart. I can always click in a different frame to change the active chart, or you can use your tab key or your shift tab key to move back and forth between frames. The active chart concept will become clearer as I move forward in this demonstration. Let's go back to the sync settings. There are four new options you can turn on and off. Interval. When you check this on, changing the time frame or the interval changes it for all the frames. I mentioned before that grid charts are great for multi-time frame analysis for a single symbol. In that case, you'd want interval sync turned off. I'm going to move to each frame now and change the interval. Let's go back to the sync settings again. You can tell the grid to sync on indicator, bar type, and template. These are all new features that will make using these grids easier. So let's turn these three options on and I'll show you what they do. Indicator sync on places any indicator that you add to all four frames. Note that deletion of a study or changing the parameters of a study in one frame does not change all the frames. Indicator sync is only applicable when you add a new indicator. So here's a tip. If you plan on changing a study's parameters for grid charts, close your grid first. Set your main chart the way that you want to see it in the grids. Open your grids again, and you'll start off with that chart duplicated in all four grids. Syncing on the bar type works the same way. 
as does syncing on templates. There are three new keyboard shortcuts that you can use while in grid charts. A slash will open up the indicator dialog. A period opens the templates dialog. And a comma opens the settings dialog, but notice that this is only for the active pane that you are viewing, the one that's outlined in blue. With chart settings, the changes that you make here are only for the active pane in your grid and not to all of the charts in the grid. I also want to give you some information about tools and grid charts. If you have a tool saved to your chart and you open grids, the tool is going to appear on all of the grids. While the grid allows you to manipulate the tools in any grid, only the top left grids tool is saved back to your main chart. I'm now going to talk about multi-charts. You will find these in the new flip charts available on all data table pages on the site. Multi-charts are opened the same way as grids. You click on the one by one icon. However, you're going to see all of the sync settings grayed out and unavailable for change. Flip charts automatically open the frames with the appropriate number of symbols from the ribbon at the top of the page. Clicking on either a symbol in the ribbon at the top or on either the right or the left arrows loads the next set of symbols. You can also use your keyboard left and right arrows to navigate through multi-charts. Interval, indicators, bar type, and template sync are all on, so any changes you make are applied to all of the frames. And just like we saw on the main chart page, set up your first chart the way you want to view multi-charts. This will save you time. One more note about tools and annotations. When you are in single chart mode in flip charts, any tool that you've already added to the chart will be shown. You can add, delete, or change tools, and these are saved back to your chart for the next time you view it. However, once you open multi-charts, we do not show any of the tools. Finally, let's put all of this together using our new dashboard. The new charts and dashboard also have the grid icon at the top, and you have full control over the sync settings. Symbol sync is on. We load the same symbol in all frames. Using one of the controllers on the right bar, you can click on a symbol to change your grids. Or you can use the up down arrow to move through the list. Remember when I talked about that active chart concept? That's the chart frame that's outlined in blue. With symbol sync off and with the controller open, click on any symbol in the controller list and that changes the symbol in the active frame. You can also change the symbol in any active frame by just starting to type the symbol. This concept also works when the controller is closed. Move to any frame, load the symbol of your choosing.
Our shortcut keys also work in Dashboard. Remember, slash opens the Add Indicator dialog. Depending on your sync settings, it will either be loaded to every frame or only to your active frame. The period opens the templates dialog and the comma opens the settings dialog for the active pane that you're viewing. I hope you can see that these new charts offer you much more flexibility when working with grids. If you should have any questions on how to use the new grids or multi charts, please don't hesitate to email us at support at barchart.com. Thank you for your attention. We appreciate your membership and thank you for using barchart.com.